Good morning, everybody. Christopher from Education with my look at the majors this morning, or the markets in particular. Um, honey, I've got the the uh, matrix, and I'm just looking at the pairs this morning. Um, I'd like to look at the US dollar CAD this morning. Uh, I've got the if I open up the chart of the US dollar CAD, uh, this is the one down here in the bottom right-hand corner. So it's predominantly red. Um, but that monthly and weekly is still carrying a bit of positiveness. But we're clearly seeing negativity coming in through the the lower time frames. And it's been growing ever since over the last month or so. So there's clearly a major change in events in terms of sentiment uh, from a bullish aspect to a negative aspect. So I'm looking to see potentially quite a, a major reversal on the candlestick. And there you go. Uh, quite a statement one that. So we can see that... Uh, this is these two vertical lines here re represents uh, a yearly time frame because I'm looking at months. So the each one of these candlesticks represents a monthly time frame, and you can see that um, price pretty much moving from a low point to a high point throughout 2018. Having said that, as we head into the end of the year, uh, price has come unstuck. Okay, and um, pretty much at a level where previously we were testing in 2017 was a resistance factor clearly went into that and we've come unstuck yet again we had highs higher highs further back in 2015 in fact the body high and then we had the wick high way up there so there were clearly uh, target levels there clearly is target levels for an eventual continuation if one ever had to occur um, so yeah we had a tp1 over here and we've got a tp uh, level over there would be our second one as we head further into 2019 but clearly what's happened over here on the hard right edge is prices come unstuck okay we had a nice bullish move up aggressive move up in december up into the levels in 2017 and then what we were looking for as we head into the new year was a continuation of that and then looking at that as a viable target level and that is a viable target level as i mentioned before let me just make those two there and put that one over there again However, you can see that clearly uh, fails to materialize because the whole of January, we did nothing but sell. There was a massive sell-off in January. So much so that it actually engulfed the both the the uh, December candle as well as the November candle. And if you took a, a low point and you drew it in the sand at that particular point, you'll notice that we've actually cleared the low of the October uh, level. Okay, so we had a close below that level. So essentially, this was a major reversal candle. We call this a a, a railway tracks equal drive candle, total reversal track of here, um, or a bearish uh, bearish engulfing. So therefore, if this is to be a statement of intent, okay, like we had over here, where we had this bearish army, and ultimately we were looking for selling, and therefore we need to see continued price selling to the downside and remaining below the low of the close of the previous bearish candle. That pretty much worked out as a treat because we've had very strong candles two prior months of that really selling off aggressively and even before then we had a massive shooting star we had a bearish engulfing and then you can see the huge sell-off so if this is to be a statement of intent yet again then ultimately what we need to do is to see price trading lower than the the actual close of the January candle now if we look at what's happened since for the month of February we actually were trading slightly lower than the January low. However, as we've headed further into the month, you'll notice that price has failed to make any new lows. She's actually pulled back significantly, almost uh, 222 odd pips, but clearly reversed yet again. So we're seeing a lot of volatility within this month. Now we've got three days and 15, uh, 15 hours still to go for this particular month. So Essentially, if this is to be a major reversal, we have to see price closing in lower than this, uh, the prior month. Because if you find support at this level, you'll notice that there has been price support and resistance on this on a no number of occasions through the latter part of 2018. And what we could be essentially seeing is price then to find support at this level, and then we could see price then reverting back to the upside. First target would be the high of this month's candle before we head towards the November, this and sorry, the December and January high way above us. Okay, so. This is a sign of reversal over here of this size at a major ceiling level would indicate negativity. And if that clearly is the case, then it's imperative that price continues to find the low side of this for, for this month. And you can clearly see she's kind of sitting on the low of that month. So if I apply the Forex Made Easy template to this, 
And when we look at it in closer detail, you can see now that below price, we have the 50 pair mimic average. And the 50 pair mimic average has done a fantastic job of supporting price. So she's got a lot, she's got to go through a lot of support to the downside. And um, that's the the risk side of things over here. So if you look at it at the moment now, we've got to get through that, we've got to get through that. Now you'll notice that the indicators, we have the 50 below price and the 200 below price. So that's the more of a, a strong sign to the RSI. It's still above the midpoint. And the MACD, fast line above the slow line, which is positive, and the history comes above the midpoint. However, the fast line is flattened now, and the history comes weakened. Okay, so clearly taking into consideration this massive reversal candlestick at a current resistance level high. Okay, so there's clearly a risk factor. Okay, so we, we, are, we have been in an uptrend. Clearly we've had a jolt to the system. Now you'll notice that if I draw that line in the sand at the low of the, December, the January candle, and I draw a line, at the 50 per mega average, I need to be trading below both those entities to then be more of a negative long term uh, change in direction. Because this just could be fueled by the macros for that particular time frame, a knee jerk reactional uh, move to the downside. So if we drop down to the weekly, my, and you can see now that those two lines that I drew, okay, re representing the 50 per mega average and the low, you'll see that the two moving averages now on the weekly are also within that band. So there's a lot of support, okay, at this particular point. So now that we need to be aware of, because if I'm looking to sell because of the bearish candle that we saw over here, after the little bull candle up to the up, I need to be below all of this to even contemplate looking to sell to the downside, because the longer she goes sideways, and the longer she fails to break below this level, ultimately what's going to happen is we're going to start to see more balls coming back into the market again and then we could very well see another reattempt of the highs that we saw at the end of last year and the start of this year okay uh, both those moving averages actually supporting price uh, the rsi is below the midpoint and the macd is also negative so we're seeing uh, a number of changes here aggressive changes but there again you can see a lot's been happening uh, what we haven't seen recently is price being able to break the low but also not being able to make a new high and you can see that there if I drew a line in the sand you can see there's resistance over here and there's a support frame over here so we're going through this this range if you want to call it for a better word we are stuck within a range if you're here on the hot right edge and have been for most of February so there again if you're looking to trade the US dollar CAD understand that you're trading within a consolidative range okay near to one so from A to B to A to B yet again and we're trading at the B level Okay, which is the bottom, the support level. Okay, you can start to see now that we had two prior weeks of selling, and you look at this week, we've seen a lot of profit taking primarily because we're trading into the 50 pair moving average on this time frame. So the exposure to risk was far greater if you're looking to sell. And you can see that we saw initially a lot of profit taking, which gave us this wick. Now you're seeing price hanging the bottom end. So if we are looking for selling, price needs to make new lows. If she fails to make a new low, then ultimately this candlestick should be or could be then informing us of an inverted hammer an inverted hammer means that we are likely to see a change in direction i.e more buyers coming back into the market again for the following week okay so these are the top things we need to be aware of so as long as this week continues to move sideways we don't get any move movement out of this i.e after the bigger picture sell-off and we don't make a new low as we head into the latter part of february that means we've gone the entire month of feb not making new lows therefore we're less likely to see any further lows and we could see a total change in sentiment okay so yeah it's all important very important to that we can see these bigger moves on the market but there again we need to reiterate from the market okay, great if that if you are intentionally bearish okay let me see continued selling and if you're intentionally bullish let me see continue buying as we drop down to the weekly the daily the four etc that's how we limit our uh, exposure to risk so even though the month is telling me i've got a massive reversal candle I've yet to see a noticeable sell-off because of the reversal candle that we saw in January. Okay, and that's a concern because now as I head into the latter part of February, I still haven't seen that continued selling. That becomes a concern because instead of me just jumping in because I've seen a bearish engulfing candle uh, for for the month of Jan, I'm now limiting my exposure to risk because I haven't made a new low. Therefore, I've spent the whole of this month going nowhere, okay, and incurring extra costs and that's going to be a detrimental effect to, to my money management okay so yeah if there's a if there's something to learn from this is to if you're starting to see 
bearish or bullish pictures on your monthly time frames or your weekly time frames there again dictate okay great if you are give me an, a sign of negativity then I need to see that playing out week in week out day in day out for within that month to give you a stronger confirmation yes we do indeed see selling or buying okay as an example uh, clearly in this case we haven't got it so here again um, that I would apply be applying trigger alerts uh, to the low of this and then waiting patiently uh, because if she creates an inverted hammer yet again over here we could see price then re-attempting the high point within this range so if that was a and that was B and we'd be moving two points we could see price actually bouncing off B and then heading back up towards a as we head into the first week of in February March apologies okay so these are the type of things we need to wear it because if she doesn't make new lows there's less likely for continued selling therefore we could see a change of direction i.e. a reattempt of the highs for the month of March okay so that's just just something to keep uh, aware of Thank you.